Hi guys, welcome to this session on SharePoint. In this module, I want to talk through how you can create a new site. So in the top, I've got create site and create news post. So I'm going for this option. When you click on that, you get two options. You get a communication site and a team site. So this is more like an intranet site where you've just got information. You don't really interact too much with that, although you can. This one where you can link it with Teams, it's more to do with giving people information that they can interact with. That's the one I'm going for. When you click on that, you get a whole array of different templates that you can select from with these layouts already preset, which are obviously a quick way of getting information. Then you would have to delete the text and edit that and put your text in there. This one though is the blank option, which is what I'm going for. And let's just use this template. It's asking you for a site name. So I'm going to call that Newcastle. And it's then going to look for an email to see if that's been used. I don't need to put a description, but it's saying Newcastle is OK. So then this group that gets created is going to have this email. So the group would be all the members on here. So I'm going to leave it on private. English is the language. Create. And then it just takes a couple of seconds to create. You can add members here. I will add them at a later date. So now it's ready to go. I click on finish. So the site is now ready for me to start building it. So if this is the default one, remember, blank. So what I want to do is just go through basically what you've got down this left hand side. You've got home. Obviously, we're on home and this is what I've got here with an edit button which I'll need to click on to actually start building this site. You've got conversations, which will generate Outlook. Document libraries, of which you can add many. Shared with me, or us, whoever's in this team, but just me at the moment, any documents that's shared with us. A one notebook, that's for this site. Pages, so the home page is actually a page designated as home you can create another page and you could also designate that as home you can see it there look it's down as a home page and then you've got site content which lists all the content on this site which is not a great deal so this is what you've got different documents form templates site assets style library and site pages and then you've got a recycle bin and the ability to edit this menu if you didn't want all of that information on there cancelling that off going back to home and i'm going to edit this home page just to show you how simple this is so i'm clicking on edit and then it will allow me to create elements on this page so i've got quick links for example i've got these web parts on the right hand side some stock images and it's a case of clicking on this little section icon at the top and creating what you're after. So at the moment, this is where it's got. So I'm going to click on that top section. It gives me options of how I want this section divided. Two columns is what I'm going to go for. And then you've got another little plus where you can add a web part. So let's go for an image on the left. And then you've got stock images, for example. And I'll pick one of these. I'll pick that one that will go in on the left and then on the right you've got another little plus in this section and I'm going to add a YouTube video which I've already copied just paste it and there we go that's the AI version of me now as you come down you can add on these other sections I'll go for a continuous section so now I've only got one item and then I want this to be text. Now you can put some narrative in here. So, hi guys, how are you? But that would be like a story. And then you're coming down. Now, if you don't want any of these, so this news article is no longer at the top. It's down here, you've got quick links and then you've got activity. So you might want to move, for example, quick links. So I'm picking that up and pushing it over there. So I've now knocked 
quick links there and I want to grab this chunk this section and it's got doc well I'll leave it underneath documents actually documents is at the top there so that's okay and quick links you can do that you can click on these to edit them click on the little arrows and then it's asking you for a link so if I click on this it will get me to link to a page or an item so I haven't actually got a great deal here so I'll just insert that one and then you get the little icon there now if I go back up to the top and just republish this page for a second so that will republish it what I need to do is go to documents and create a document so I won't create one I'll upload one but I could create one from this list here it gives me a list but I'll just upload one that I've already got on these computers so files and go for charting it's just an Excel file now if I go back to the home page and then edit I can edit the links so that comes up on this front page so if I come down to where it's got the links down here click on that one click on this two little arrows click on change and then you now can see that document so I'll select that charting insert OK and then that one is in there now if I just repost this and republish so that's basically how easy that is so when you go to the top here when you click on new you've got different options there news post lists and all this sort of stuff document gallery but I'm just going to go for news post and again you've got different options these are all template options but I'll go for a blank one because it's going to look very similar to what we've just been doing and I'll just create the page there and you'll, you'll just build this up in exactly the same way add a title so I'll call this Waterloo and then you're going down doing the same sort of thing creating a section so I'll go for a continuous section and in there I'll create an image I'll put an image in there and I'll just pick a stock image obviously if you've got images on your computer you can pick those insert that the banner across the top I can click on that and change that image to whatever I want stock images something different just go for that one not even spending half a second looking at them so there's two images now I can add a section and I'll go for three columns in the left column I want text in the center column I want a picture again stock images um, that one and then in the right column I'll have text again and then you basically put your text in there either one, one of those and this is like a news post and you just keep going down like that once you're ready you click on that post it now you've got the option here of sending it to colleagues but I'm just going to skip this stage skip go back to home and then your news that post there came up with a bit of gobbledygook that I typed there but you can see the layout is how you set it up when you did edit if you don't like this layout you're going to have to go back into edit and change it around because obviously as this site builds it will get a lot of information you'll have more than one document coming there if I go to documents just upload another one so upload a different Excel file or you could upload a folder upload compare or whatever that said so charting and compare to so I've got two more two files go back to home so the links I could go and edit the links but documents is now showing me both those files so there'll be a limit to what you can see there depending on how big this box is you've got all documents there I can click on new to give myself a new document so this is very very user friendly the way that you can maneuver things around and create content very very quickly now down the left hand side there if you want you can go into documents and create what's called a library another library this is called a documents library 
you can have many documents library so I'll just create one so you can see how it works if I go back to home and then new document library so I've come back to the top level here to get this list document library and I'll just go for blank again but you've got template options so blank and I'll call this Steve and then create so that's a new library completely so it's ready to go and you can totally customize this now I can also if I want to move this up the screen you can see how it's not actually letting me drop it anywhere what you have to do is click on edit and then it will so it's under documents now I can go make that a sub link so now you've got documents and underneath Steve save that you get a little arrow showing you that there's more than one item under there like so and this can all be totally customized you can add extra things I'll just up, upload a file into this library anything I didn't even look at that one just double clicked on it so that's uploaded that file into this library you've got files in documents and so on if you go back to the top to home you would need to add another library if you wanted that in here because it's not there you've got activity obviously you could put quick links to that it's totally up to you so basically creating a site is very simple if you want to connect a site to a team when you create a new site which I've just created this one called Zulu Wars you get this option at the bottom here on the navigation pane to connect to a team site or create a team site so there there's the link so I'm going to click on that and then it's given me the options to connect to a team site so I'll click on that and then add to team so you've got different things there I'm just going to click on add team now when it's creating the team if I go into teams for this one you can see that it's actually created a team called Zulu Wars just jumped off the screen there for a second but there it is Zulu Wars and the tab for general which is a default when you create a team so you can either create a team in teams so when you create these teams this will automatically generate a SharePoint site if I'd have been in teams and created Zulu Wars it would have created that site for me so whichever way you do it it doesn't really matter you can have a team either SharePoint or in teams so that's all I want to talk about in this little video so thanks for your time I'll catch you on the next one